Hello, this is Chris Taylor from Taylor Made RF, and I'd like to talk to you about DMR radios. I get a lot of phone calls since I've been advertising DMR, asking me what it's all about and why the uh, the mainstream guys aren't shouting about it. So it is a quick rundown. First of all, the big difference between DMR or PMR, for that fact, and amateur radio equipment. Amateur radio equipment is designed for the hobby market, so you turn your radio on and it comes up. You want to go to a frequency, you either dial it up or you One, tap it in the keypad. Four, five, five. So I've just put in 145500, which is the two meter calling frequency, I'll key the button and talk. If I want to go in and uh, put in, let's say I want to put a repeater. One, One, So that's put in 1457375. I now have to program in the repeater shift, or in the case of this radio that I'm using, which is just a cheap Chinese one, it's got automatic repeater shift. It knows what it is, so it puts it in for me. Um, I then have to just put in CTCSS, so it's quite simple. I just go function and tone, and just dial up the CTCSS tone, save it. That's it, so it's now done. So that's it, the radio's programmed, I key the button, I'm into the local repeater. DMR and PMR is different. Here's my PMR radio stroke DMR. This is a Kenwood TKD200. State of the art DMR radio, very good analog and digital radio. And um, very good front end, very good selectivity. Um, it's £470 for the radio with the battery drop-in charger all ready to go. And I supply them programmed up for the DMR market with all the UK uh, analog two meter repeaters as well. So we turn it on. It's not like amateur radio radios. It boots up because it's got onboard processing. And if I dial up my local repeater, GB, GB3AL, there we are, you can see it's got a display. If I press the buttons on the front, they don't do anything. There's a menu button and that's got functions that I pre-programmed in when I put the software in. But the buttons generally don't do anything unless you assign them to a function. Um, so you dial up the frequency you want. If we go to DMR, which is what I want to talk to you about today, I dial up DMR, here we are, it's all set up. And because it's all set up for you, it's very straightforward to use. So I want to talk to someone in America, so I just dial up Talk Group 3 on my local repeater, press the button, and that will be calling in all the all the DMR repeaters in North America will hear me. If someone wants to talk to me, they'll talk to me. If they don't, then I'll go and look for something else. If I go to talk group one, that's worldwide. That goes through all the repeaters in the world. I'm putting a call out through every DMR repeater in the world when I'm calling worldwide. So it's not smart to sit there chatting for ages. So what, what normally happens is you put a call out, you establish a contact, and then you go to a a smaller talk group so if it's someone in England you'll go to UK wide or if you can you can go to the local repeater if they're local or whatever um, the main difference between DMR and any other digital network that radio amateurs use is that DMR can carry two conversations at the same time they're on a different time slot and for simplistic terms if we assume that you're going to send odds and evens so if I'm transmitting on odds talk group one then you can transmit on talk group two we won't hear each other we'll both be on the same repeater having independent conversations um, and that's great if you want to understand fully how it works and understand about TDMA and everything else have a look at uh, the easiest thing to do is just google DMR Etsy standard and then you'll find the specification for the spec for the radios as I say this is a high-end unit which I sell and I sell a few people want the best. There's also Motorola, Hi-Tier, etc. Vertex Standard doing them. No amateur manufacturer at the moment makes a DMR radio. Um, there's only one amateur radio manufacturer in, in the world that doesn't have a digital offering at the moment. And if they were smart, they'd bring out a radio with uh, DMR on it because the market for DMR is increasing daily. Um, when we first put GB7CT on air, there were six repeaters listed in the UK. There's now 21. Um, that's in a period of two months. It's growing very quick. Uh, one of the reasons it's growing very quickly is that 
the only repeaters people can use on the network are the Motorola ones and that means that everybody knows how to set them up you buy the repeater plug it in connect it to the internet put the air in it job's done it's working um, people people know how to set them up in the commercial market so you just get it going I sell a product from a company called Connect Systems who are an American company when they said they were going to bring out a DMR handheld everyone laughed at them they did here it is this is the CS701 they also do the 700 this is VHF they do UHF as well um, this when you buy it from me comes supplied with a battery a drop-in charger a programming lead the software is a free download on the internet and I supply it pre-programmed with what's called a code plug that's been inherited from Motorola and a code plug is a set of channels defined for the radio so it's all programmed ready when you get the radio you download the free software read it with the USB lead into a computer and then you go in put your call sign in put in your ID and you have to register for the motor uh, sorry you have to register for the DMARC network to get an ID and then you can use the DMR radios on the network and it's a digital number that comes up and that identifies you if you speak to someone regularly you can put their number in on the list and when they call you it will show up as a their call sign and name or whatever you've assigned to it um, I'll do another video which explains what you can do with the software there are already a few out there if you just have a look for connect systems CS 700 software you'll see a few videos on that already exist um, there's a 10 easy step sheet provided with the radio when you buy it from me which tells you how to create your own local talk groups and how to get it going on your doorstep so when you get it home I send it out from you from London you happen to be in Doncaster you can it tells you how to get it onto your local repeater and how to get your local analog repeaters in the scan group so you can personalize the radio for your your use the CS 700 has got two power settings one watt or five watts I typically from my car with a quarter wave whip on the top run five watts and the local repeater anywhere in my local area I have no problem working it so that's that's a brief rundown and the only other thing that I want to tell you because I do get a lot of issues with this it's very important you understand the following the only radios that can use the DMR network are Etsy standard DMR radios so if you buy a digital radio by another manufacturer and it doesn't meet that specification you won't be able to use it like you can't use the DMR on any of the existing amateur digital networks you can use the radio on analog ones for echo link and IRLP but you can't use them on fusion you can't use them on D star you can't use them on the high tier network unless they're a high tier radio um, and the only radios currently available off the shelf at the moment that I know of are the connect systems Kenwood Motorola used or new as long as they're a D DMR one um, DP for digital portable and DM for digital mobile are the norms um, there are vertex standard ones and there are a few Chinese manufacturers coming along with them you've got to make sure just because it says DMR it doesn't mean it's compatible with a DMR network it has to meet the Etsy standard and they wouldn't dare put that specification down if it didn't so they will say if, it's Etsy, if it meets the Etsy standard um, that's required when you see the adverts for them so that's it in a nutshell I'm doing some more videos covering how you program it how you use the software to generate your own talk groups and I'll be doing a video over the next few days that will have some audio so you can hear I've just got to arrange with a few friends so that um, we can record some stuff and then they're being recorded so I don't upset anybody so I hope that gives you a potted version of what DMR is all about it's amateur radio's best kept secret and the fastest growing digital network for amateur radio for a long long time see you again soon this is Chris Taylor G0WTZ from TaylorMade RF signing off thanks for watching